I see this problem pop up super, super often, and I've dealt with this myself. So first we gotta understand why this is happening and two, what we can do about it. The number one most common culprit with dairy issues is lactose. So lactose is a sugar found in milk and we need an enzyme called lactase to digest it properly or we're gonna have cramping, bloating, just any sort of digestive discomfort. Dairy isn't really an issue for most kids because growing up you produce enough lactase. So you break down the lactose just fine. But for about two thirds of the population, we produce less and less of the lactase enzyme as we age. So that's why we see a lot of people when they get older, they have trouble with dairy is because of the lactose. Then there's also a third of the population who has this thing called the lactase persistence gene where you digest dairy just fine throughout the course of your life because you always produce enough lactase. So for the two thirds of you who still have dairy issues when you drink a glass of milk, here's what you can do. Number one is fermented dairy. So we're talking yogurts, kefirs. With the fermentation process, the lactose is converted into lactic acid, which is actually beneficial for our guts and our digestion, and people do way better with it. So that's why a lot of people do yogurt when they can't handle normal dairy. Plus, they have probiotics, which helps with overall gut health. The second option is trying dairy options with less lactose. So things like butter or cheeses. I mean, the way butter's made, it's mostly fat, so there's not a lot of sugar in there from the lactose. And then for cheeses, the way they are produced, they are just easier to digest in most cases. A third option is any A2 milk or any non-cow's milk. So like goat, sheep, camel, that kind of thing. The reason to try all those is that they're all A2 milk and human milk is A2 milk. So it's more natural and it's more aligned with our biology. It's just easier to digest. So if A1 bothers you, try A2. Number four and my personal favorite is raw dairy. So do your own research on raw dairy to see if it's a good fit for you. But if you find a good source from a good farm that you trust, that doesn't have any contamination or outbreaks, get your raw dairy from there. Because anecdotally, tons and tons of people have done better with digestion and just how they overall feel with raw milk. And there's studies out there about how it's just easier to digest and it has more nutrients that are not broken down, degraded, destroyed from the pasteurization process. So you can try that out to see how you do. And then last resort, if you don't do well with any type of dairy, if it's pasteurized, if it's cow, if it's goat, if it's cheese, it's butter, it's cream, it's ice cream, it's raw, you still have issues with all of them, even in small amounts or big amounts, doesn't matter. Then I would look into deeper issues, like I mentioned before. It could be a gut issue, an underlying gut issue where all dairy bothers you. It could be some sort of digestive issue where not just the lactase, but you might just have trouble digesting certain carbs, certain sugars, certain fats, whatever it is. So get some blood testing done, get some stool testing done, see if you're deficient in anything because you could be having some underlying issues that's causing the problem in dairy, not just the lactose.